everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Robert Q and today I'm going to cover Shiba Inu, the cryptocurrency which has just been listed on Robinhood. So make sure to watch this whole video and hit that subscribe button to help out the channel. Thank you. So just this morning, I actually woke up to lots of comments saying that Shiba was listed on Robinhood. I didn't really believe it because I didn't see any news articles officially out saying that Robinhood had listed Shiba Inu. But when I went onto the Robinhood app and I saw that Shiba Inu was actually listed, I was actually pretty amazed because it was so out of the blue and crypto was really tanking when Bitcoin was going below 40,000. It really did impact the whole crypto market and it kind of hurt because I was holding lots of Shiba and Dogecoin at the moment but it's finally happened and I'm more than ecstatic to say that Robinhood is finally listening to its customers because if many of y'all may not know there was a petition with over 500,000 people who have signed up for Shiba Inu to be listed on Robinhood like it's finally happened and because I saw the news out we always sell the news so I actually sold all of my Shiba Inu when I heard about the official listing and saw it actually on Robinhood I actually had to go on my Coinbase and sell my Shiba Inu because when a cryptocurrency gets just listed on a brand new um, either like Coinbase or Robinhood or any other trading platform when there is usually a brand new listing there's sometimes or most of the time after that becomes a dip so I just was kind of nervous holding a lot of Shiba Inu still at the moment so I had to sell and I'm happy I did because even though I didn't get to sell at the top at 30, it's better to sell a little lower. So I sold in the mid ranges of 0.00027 to 28. And I'm happy I did because if you look at the price right now, it's going for 0.000025. And we might not know if it can crash lower because crypto right now, along with stocks, it's plummeting really hard. Like, it's a bloody market out there. So I just want to share some news that Robinhood is finally listing Shiba Inu and they're listening to their customers and I'm happy to see where Shiba Inu will go, especially with their land that is selling on the metaverse. It has been delayed, but it's still a lot of land that they're selling on the Shiba verse, so it's exciting to see what can happen. If y'all take a look, it's official Shiba Inu is listed on Robinhood and it's going down actually. If you look in the live market, it's actually taking a beating right now. So I kind of am glad I sold, but I wish I had woken up a little earlier to see it at like 0, .0 just it hit the 30s. As you can see, it hit the 30s right there, but it just tanked after that. So I, I just want to say that I'm out of Shiba Inu right now, but I'm going to dip my toes in again because there's money to be made, but you got to secure the bag when it's tanking, you know? You don't want to be stuck holding such a loss and hope that it will go up one day because one day like this is when you are expected to sell. So whenever there is a big jump in the price, just sell because it's going to go down with crypto always being so volatile. What goes up must come down. So make sure you're securing your bag and celebrate that Shiba Inu is finally listed on Robinhood and you can hopefully put some money into Shiba Inu for the long run. Shiba Inu actually jumped 35% on this Robinhood listing. And that's pretty amazing because Shiba Inu had tanked all the way to 
22. And just before the listing, it skyrocketed to 0 0.000030. So of course there was a pullback and that's all expected because when people began waking up to the news and finally figuring out that Robinhood had just listed Shiba Inu, people will always sell the news and it's bound to happen because I also did sell all of my Shiba Inu and it's going to be something that I'll be trading because Shiba Inu and Dogecoin and lots of other cryptocurrencies have been so volatile that I find it to be more wise to go in and out of these cryptocurrencies rather than holding all of them and just be stuck holding a loss. So I'm kind of grateful that I sold my Shiba Inu, but I'm also always going to keep an eye out because we don't know when Shiba Inu and Dogecoin might run up again. Because if you've noticed how fast these cryptocurrencies run up, it doesn't take more than two to three days and it can be like double or even triple its coin price. So I will be definitely keeping an eye out on these coins and I'll be getting back into them as well whenever I feel like it's hitting a bottom because I want to make sure I'm securing most of my profit and not just wasting and skipping out on these games. The Shiba Inu Metaverse project there looks like there's a total of 100,595 pieces with a total of 36,431 release in phase one. The price you can expect is going to be between 0.2 through 1 Ethereum. So this looks like a great investment opportunity for me, especially for all of the Shiba Inu holders who are looking to experiment and have fun with their investments in the metaverse. There's going to be different tiers. So it looks like there's a total of four tiers. It's going to be the silver fur, which is going to be a total of 17,030 lands for a price of 0.2 Ethereums. The tier three, which is the gold tail, is going to have 7,356 lands for a total of 0.3 Ethereums. And for tier two, it's platinum paw with 5,714 lands for a price of 0.5 Ethereum. And for tier one, AKA the diamond teeth, there's only going to be 2,024 lands available for a price of one Ethereum. So if you look at the Ethereum price right now, it's about $3,000 um, from the time I am checking right now, it is exactly $3,007.88. So who knows when these lands will be released, but these are certain projects that we have to look forward to because it could send up the price of Shiba Inu up as more people buy into it. But with the Shiba Inu coins, we're going to have to see how it's going to project, especially with all of the crypto currently going down right now. Let's just hope that these projects will give it a boost and we'll see from there. So many of y'all may be curious on how to be the first to buy land in the Shiba metaverse. Well, the first way and the fastest way to buy land in the metaverse is through holding Leash. Holders of Leash will be given priority access to the metaverse auction. So the access will scale depending on the total numbers of Leash you lock and for how long. So Shiba Inu, there's so much news, so much excitement and so much going on with this cryptocurrency right now. I have so much more information to share with y'all down the road, but I'm going to wrap it up here as I've shared all of the information I would like with all of you guys. So if y'all appreciate this content, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to really help out what it is that I'm trying to do and hopefully grow along with the YouTube community. Thank you.